This is KTVO's Good Morning Heartland. Welcome back. Technology has changed dramatically over the years. There's no doubt about that. And it seems like there's a new device or system coming out every day. So we wanted to know how does technology changed over the years in the farming industry. This morning we have Jeremy Schneider from Seiden Stricker here this morning to break it down for us. How are you doing? Good, thank you. So obviously, you know, technology has changed, even with the tractors themselves, but with the GPS systems that they use to help coordinate, you know, their land and their crops and stuff has dramatically changed as well. Great. So kind of just do a quick little history recap when yep. it comes to these devices. Well, um, so one of the devices we have here is what was the original GPS uh -huh. unit. And uh, we talked before, you know, it kind of reminds you of a UPS or a giant calculator yeah. that was um, probably back in the mid 90s when that first came out and basically it did some of the straight line functions so that guys could get um, their fields nice and straight and mm -hmm. actually started driving for them um, but today that technology when I first started with Sidon Stricker five years ago mm -hmm. we still use quite a bit of that technology mm -hmm. it's still out there but it's becoming very antiquated very quickly and in the five years of, I've been around, it's basically gone by the wayside. And today we have some of our latest units. Mm -hmm. And this one here. Kind of looks a, like a little laptop it, type It thing. is, essentially. It's a touch screen. Basically, it's just a little laptop computer mm -hmm. um, built in so that the display and everything is inside the tractor or combine. Mm -hmm. And that way it does a, a lot more functions and you're able to do a lot more with it. This right here is actually the receiver that receives the satellite mm -hmm. um, signal and this is a little bit more complex than say your Garmin that you may have in your vehicle and things like that because it it actually um, accounts for terrain roll so mm -hmm. side to side and things like that but essentially um, it's a lot of the same technology that you use in, in Garmin's and things like that it's just probably a little bit more complex. So what are the types of things we'll be seeing in the future? Um, some of the things that uh, are out there now that really haven't grab, taken hold yet um, is basically the tractors and combines and things like that have um, a built-in cell phone mm -hmm. um, that communicates via cell tower. And essentially, it's taking the information that these two um, units gather and it's sending it back basically to the cloud or, or to a cloud database. Uh -huh. And people are able to take that information and start analyzing it and distribute it and use it a lot faster and easier these days. So those are some of the things that we'll see in the future. All right. And how um, is Seiden Strickers uh, preparing themselves to handle this type of technology and the advancement of it? Well, we have certain um, individuals on, mm -hmm. on staff. Um, we call this entire department Integrated Solutions. Okay. And so they're Integrated Solutions Specialists, and, and they t are routinely going to classes and meetings and things like that. And then what they're doing is they're bringing that information back and essentially um, putting it to use in the field. So this past spring or this current spring season, we've been able to um, have the guys out there and using that technology with our, with our customers. Mm -hmm. And that way um, we're actually taking it kind of out of theory mm -hmm. stage and putting it to use. And it's been very successful for us. Yeah. And I actually got a chance to uh, try one of these uh, GPS systems out uh, with the help of you as well as Josh, who is trained to help farmers and walk them through this and kind of show them how these GPS systems work. And we actually have some videos. So the GPS system that I use kind of explained to it. It's, it's hands-free. Correct. Yeah, as you can see there, you're, you're able to drive. Um, the path was set up um, uh -huh. al already in one of our parking lots and then... Essentially, um, with these units here, you're able to basically just hit the resume button, mm -hmm. basically. And what that does is it will put it on the same exact course. And when you tell it things such as, I want to be 40 feet away mm -hmm. and for a pass, it will just shift over another 40 feet and then draw the exact same route again. So as you can see here, as you're driving around our, our building out there, mm -hmm. you would have been able to just continuously drive around that. Yeah, and he, I mean, the route that he chose, I mean, he got really close to certain certain vehicles in the parking lot. And like right here, this is cell phone video of me, and I'm showing that I'm not, my hands aren't even on the steering wheel, and it's literally going the path that he programmed in once he went around the first time. And some of those were... I wouldn't say sharp turns, but I would say tight turns. Correct. And I was, I was getting a little nervous because I thought the tire was going to hit <laughs> something and it wouldn't. And no. so, so when, when do people use this type of GPS system? 
Well, basically in two two main seasons, spring mm-hmm. and fall. But we'll just talk about spring right now. Um, wild planting, as you saw there, that that was what he set up for you was plus or minus. Uh, I believe it's eighteen inches. Mm-hmm. So you can be off eighteen inches, but with um, certain upgraded functions, you can be sub inch accuracy. So that literally puts it basically right in the same exact tire track, pass to pass every time. Wow. And so what guys do is they will um, put that in their tractor that they're mm-hmm. using planting and basically go across the field back and forth and they essentially don't have to steer and all the rows are perfectly straight and spaced and that allows for the optimum crop um, spacing essentially so right. you maximize the crops. Wow, so I just, it's it's fascinating how much mm-hmm. that this has evolved over the years, especially going from something like this, right. you know, just 20 years ago to going to hands-free. Correct. So, well, thank you so much to Sidon Stricker as well as you, Jeremy, and Josh for allowing me to drive a big tractor for the very first time and trusting me <laughs> not to damage it. So I was in good hands. So thank you again. No problem. What we'll do is we'll post everything on our website at heartlandconnection.com, and we'll be right back.